Hey, what's going on, guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm here with the Raspberry Pi 3, running Retro Pi 3.7, and I wanted to show you guys how to add game art to your emulators. Now, this will add game art and a description to your games. So, if you've installed Retro Pi and you set up a few emulators, it may look like this. Not that attractive. I can deal with this as long as I know I can play the games, but a lot of people want to add cover art let's say a game box art and a little description the description might be what year it was released who made the game and what the game's about we're gonna get started now this is very simple you can do everything from the Raspberry Pi within retro Pi you need to have your Raspberry Pi connected to the internet either by Ethernet or Wi-Fi connection and have an active internet connection in this tutorial, I'm only going to scrape ROMs from Super Nintendo, Wonderswan Color, Neo Geo, and PSP. Now the reason being, this can take a long time to scrape all of your games if you have a bunch of games installed. I tend to have anywhere from 50 to 100 games at all times. This is a fresh install, and I've only placed a few games in each of these emulators. Let's get started here. Press start on your controller. Right here at the top, there's a scraper. Now the scraper is what we're going to use to scrape the images from the internet and add them to our emulator and our games. You can scrape from the games database or the archive. I use the games DB, which is the games database. Scroll to scrape now. From here, we can filter only missing images or all games. If you just want to rescrape your art from all your games, I'm only going to do only missing images. Systems. Now we can select specific systems to add art to. And for this tutorial, I'm going to uncheck a few, but you can leave all of these on if you have games and everything. So right now I'm only going to scrape from Neo Geo. PlayStation Portable, Super Nintendo, and Wonderswan Color. Go back, and we're going to start the scrape now. So it's scraping. It, scraping is in progress. Neo Geo, Game 1 of 17, Art of Fighting 2. Underneath the scraping in progress, Neo Geo, you can see Game 1 of 17, and there is the game itself. So I know that this is Art of Fighting 2. So this is the correct image to download. Press your A button. That will download the image. Metal Slug 4. Metal Slug X. Now there's no game art available for this game right now. You may run into this. I have found that 95% of all of my games have art that I can download. You will run into some games that don't. Don't worry. Don't get upset. You can deal with not having art for right now. So no games found for Metal Slug X. Skip. SNK versus Capcom. That is correct. We're on to the PlayStation Portable. I only have one game in this. And it's Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Select your Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. As you can see, under PlayStation Portable at the top, it tells me which game it is scraping. On to Super Nintendo. Battletoads and Double Dragon. So from here, you should understand how it's working. Now you can see that I have Donkey Kong Country under the Super Nintendo at the top. And it's giving me an option for Donkey Kong Country 3, 2, and regular Donkey Kong Country. Just keep in mind that it may give you a few options. Try to choose the correct one so you know which game it is. And you can see this is Donkey Kong Country. It's not 2 or 3. So I'm going to choose Donkey Kong Country. I'm going to fast forward this because you guys get the idea now.
All right, so 14 games were successfully scraped. And scraped means scraped or got the images and the description online, downloaded them to your RetroPie SD card, placed them in the correct emulator for the correct game. Three games were skipped. I couldn't find the artwork or a description for those three games. Me, myself, I'm going to deal with it. I'm not worried about the three games. I said before, about 95% of all the stuff works. Go back. Hit your B button. Now, when we go back into whichever emulator you would like, so I scrape from Super Nintendo, you will have your game art and your description listed. It's easy, 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 easy. As long as you're connected to the internet, you should have no problem. I couldn't find Mega Man X. I can try to rename this and try to scrape the game again. The big thing is do not rename Neo Geo games or MAME ROMs. They will not work if you rename them. They rely on this specific name to run. Super Nintendo, NES, Game Boy, you can rename those kind of ROMs, but MAME and Neo Geo, as I know right now, are the ones you cannot rename. And it looks really great with the box art and a description underneath it. We'll go to a Wonder Swan color. I scraped a few ROMs for that. Amazingly, Dicing Knight was available and the Golden Axe for Wonder Swan color. Neo Geo, Art of Fighting, Metal Slug 4. Now Metal Slug X was not available. I'm not sure why, but like I said, I'm fine with it. This is my BIOS, Neo Geo, so it didn't scrape this. SNK versus Capcom. And I have one more, which was my PSP. Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Now it looks really good now. You scraped art and descriptions directly on the Raspberry Pi with no extra setup. Very simple. I appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, or comments, leave them down below or send me a private message. And like always, thanks for watching.